All right, and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there uh, for our next donation deck, which is going to be Grixis Midrange. So this is a little bit uh, faster take on, on Grixis. Um, you know, my usual way that I play Grixis is that Grixis discard deck, which is a really slow control deck. Um, and then uh, we've even played like some other Grixis control decks uh, recently. Um, so now we this version um, is trying to go a little bit under um, some of the other decks and maybe not play as long of a game. So what we have here uh, is we have we have some uh, good evasive early drops with Siren Storm Tamer and Kite Sail Freebooter. Um, Storm Tamer is just a really solid card. Of course, I'm sure you know about this card with Mono Blue, like how good it is in that that uh, uh, version. But it's just a pretty solid card overall, and it does a good job of protecting uh, Thief of Sanity, which is you know as you all know, Thief of Sanity just takes over games by itself, and it can even protect Hostage Taker as well. So it does good good job protecting those. Um, and then the other card it can protect is our Kite Sail Freebooter, which is you know an evasive body like our other creatures there um, that also disrupts the opponent that can take their best uh, non-creature, non-land card from our opponent's hand. Both Storm Tamer and Freebooter um, and even Hostage Taker, they're all pirates. So we can make this Lookout's Dispersal cost two mana sometimes if we control a pirate. Um, other times it's just regular three mana counter spell for the most part. You know, counter target spell unless it paves four. Four is so much mana. It's basically, you know, like basically like pay, like playing like absorb or whatever you know like whatever counter spell uh but it can cost two mana if we got one of these pirates out um then we also have reveler for uh an early drop that can uh do some hand fixing that can also uh in the late game uh help draw you three cards um and we got like our regular removal again thief of sandy hostage taker are like going to be our super strong cards and then we also have four rekindling phoenix which is another really great card so like different different red decks that we've been playing like rekindling phoenix is always a standout so are thief of sandy and hostage taker so we we have some really powerful cards at the top end of our our deck uh throw an angrath on top and we're good to go our sideboard has a ton of a ton of one ofs. We got an Angrath, an Eldritch Reborn, Contempt, a couple of Theater Horrors, Fiery Cannonade, Spyglass, Daredevil. So you know a whole lot of mix and match depending on what our opponent's doing. A whole lot of like different situational cards and everything. Um, so it'll be pretty interesting sideboarding and seeing what we're going to be wanting to do here. Um, and that's what we got. So let's go ahead and get started with some Grixis mid range. See how this works. We're going to be a little bit more of a tempo deck um, with this version of Grixis. Uh, curving like Kite Sail Freebooter into Thief of Sanity is certainly what we want to be doing. The more control ish that our opponents are, probably the better for us. This kind of deck can doesn't have a whole lot of great defensive elements and so we can get run over by some of the faster aggro decks we're on the play this hand you know i, I would be keeping this for sure if we had a, a shock land i'm not sure if i want catacomb turn two storm tamer turn three like freebooter or thought erasure I kind of think I want a mulligan, considering we don't even have red mana either. This hand's so close. I'm going to mulligan it, though. If we had, like, a Thief of Sanity, if we had, like, some, like, really powerful card like Thief of Sanity um, in that previous hand, I would have kept it. Yeah, Captain Marvel was awesome. Uh, yeah, it was a really good movie yesterday. Selesnia so Guildgate. I'm going to go ahead and pay two life here. Um, Selesnia, you know, means it's 
could be a two drop creature that I want to just cast down the two drop creature and then slam down Thief of Sanity on turn three on an empty board. We're kind of all in on this Thief of Sanity. So I hope our opponent doesn't use a removal spell. We would love to be able to untap and have Lookout's Dispersal available. Yeah, y'all y'all called it. It is Gates. Thief is certainly good against Gates. Um, don't know exactly why I'm shocking, but we'll we'll kind of see like what happens. No, I didn't. Did not hit the the bonus with Vraska Tribal. Never really got close. Um, I don't think I ever had two Vraskas even in play at the same time. And speaking of that, I need. I am making the YouTube video for that too. I wonder if I should just freeboot her first to see their hand to see. So I can, you know, make a better, well informed decision. Kind of like the circuitous route. I also just want to play this Angrath. But I guess Angrath doesn't, you know, doesn't protect our thief. Ram, 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 Colossus. Dub's expansion. Alright, I'm, I'm pretty glad that... We did that... Oh, I guess that's a good question. Do I actually have enough basics for route? Yeah. Okay, I guess I do. Okay, I do have two basics. That's not a bad draw for them with like the the three life. That's that's also really awkward. That if I try to cast down the the ram, they just get to copy it with expansion. So I don't really want to. I don't really want to do that then. So let's just lead with this. Let's just go with this Angrath here. <laughs> oh, I should have just done this first and hit them for two, of course. For my freedom. <laughs> I guess I, I was seeing. You know, I was waiting, waiting to see what we had here. If there was other decisions to make, but I should have probably just done that pre-combat and hit them for two. So they. They couldn't. They didn't have enough like blue and red mana because of these things to be able to. Um, no fire, no steel. To explosion the Angrath for one. Hmm. These expansions are really annoying. I kind of wish I... No, yeah, I, I guess I had to take the Gates of Blaze. I 
I do kind of wish I took uh, Growth Spiral instead of Route about now. If I wait till their turn, they could have like double expansion kind of thing. No, they can't have double expansion. They don't have the mana for that. Yeah, they don't have the mana for double expansion. So let's just go on their upkeep, make them spend this mana. I cast down, they copy with expansion. Because if I just erasure, they can just copy the erasure and, and thought erasure me back. And that's also annoying. Yeah, definitely, Yud. So the, that's the problem with Thought Erasuring first, is my opponent could just copy the Thought Erasure, and I don't love that. So I want them to play the Ram here, hopefully. Hopefully they didn't draw another Gates of Blaze. That's exactly what we wanted. No fire, no steel. So we don't quite have lethal. We're one off of like just casting carnage. And yeah, I mean, we're gonna carnage and empty their hand, but one damage off. So whatever their draw step is, they have to get rid of both Thief and Freebooter, and the Angrath. So yeah, Freebooter really helps knowing our opponent's hand and knowing how to se sequence and everything there. Um, Angrath is awesome against Gates. Let's get another one of those. Theater of Horrors is probably pretty good. So usually they have like their sweepers and everything and um So usually like storm Ta like storm tamer doesn't matter as much like they don't they don't target stuff. Um spell pierce isn't going to counter very many things very often. Lava coil doesn't really kill stuff. Negate is awesome. Uh, Disdainful Stroke. Disdainful Stroke countering the four mana circuitous route is amazing. I'm not sure if it countering anything else is really that good. I guess countering like Krasis, but they already get to draw all the cards. Um, this is just four mana. Deal three to them. Make them discard two. I guess Disdainful Stroke is probably better than that. I mean, Duresses are good. Yeah, it could counter explosion. I think I like dispersal. I mean, just three mana counter spell, because it's not super reliable. Actually, revelers aren't good. I'm gonna cut a couple of revelers. They're not very good. Like the two-two body doesn't matter. They get swept up quite a bit. Yeah, you missed Vraska Tribal. Getting that 5 0. Hmm. As long as we don't have any of our interaction of like duresses, counter magic, thought erasures, all that kind of stuff, we're just kind of playing a freebooter and then, uh, I guess freebooter is interaction like that. How are we doing, um, black mana wise? 4, 8, 12, 16. So we'd have to hit 1 out of 16 in 2 draw steps. That's just probably not worth the risk. Ow.
Firefly doesn't do a ton of useful stuff in the matchup because a lot of like their things to copy are like you know Gates of Blaze and Deafening Clarion and stuff like that. Well, good news is they're on five. Good news for us, that is. Not really for them. Um, with our plan being, like, protect the thief, Disdainful Stroke doesn't necessarily do the whole protect the thief plan too well. So I'm going to ship that to the bottom. And when they're on five cards, you know, like, waiting till they have, like, four mana and cast something large isn't... Super necessary. Alright, they got in a blaze. That's a good card. No... No land, though. Alright, I am waiting... I'm waiting a turn before I play this other thief. I don't want to just play my second thief out, then they play Gates of Blaze, and then I'm, like, stuck with nothing. So let's have the negate up for next turn. I, I didn't play the tap land in either uh, because just in case we want to cast down plus negate for, for some reason. That's all the gates. Yeah, the uh, Vraska travel deck is being uploaded to YouTube right now. Uh, it will be up in like 20 minutes or so. Uh, I just got done playing that one a little bit ago. Um, I have two negates. So I'll still play the this land. Have both negates available or contempt plus negate. All right, what you got, opponent? Colossus. That's contempt. Guess I could have hostage takered it. Colossus and Ram. Um, let's play a Ram and have double negate. Because now they can have like a Blaze plus negate or a Blaze plus expansion kind of thing. I don't know what they could have in their hands that they just passed that previous turn. Honestly, don't know what our opponent could have right now. I also don't know... A reason to play anything. I mean, I guess they could have like you know Plaza of Harmony and survive another turn. Okay, they have that. But in case for some reason our all of our creatures get swept away, just didn't really need to play more. All right, so there we go. Greg's mid range looking impressive that first one, but I mean that's what Thieves Andy will do. Thieves Andy is. Heck of a card. Our opponent was on um, five there. You know, we were on six, they were on five, but we had turn three thief. They didn't have an answer for turn three thief. And 
Um, yeah, that happened there. Uh, no, no boluses in this deck at all. Yeah, no boluses at all. Yeah, that yeah, your teamer deck looks pretty cool. I would call that like teamer ramp. It's not mid range. I'd call it like teamer ramp. Um, but yeah, I like it. We did have to go to six on all of our hands so far with this. And this time five. Yeah, there's rekindlings instead of bolus in this list. Storm Tamer looks pretty silly right about now. You're behind against a bunch of tutus. Yeah, I can imagine this being a hard matchup. Like I mentioned earlier, um, the aggressive decks are going to be tough for us. We have a whole lot of cards that are not good on defense um, in our list. Basically, most of our creatures. Hostage Taker and Phoenix are like the two creatures that are good on defense. Okay, I need to make... I need to make a thumbnail for the Vraska Travel Deck for YouTube. Um, they're both 4-4 tramplers. All right, so sorry about this. Making this thing real quick. Down to four. All right, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to keep more than five cards. We were not anywhere close to winning that. We got ritual of sets in the sideboard. Ritual of set. Now we have cannonade. Hmm. Well, Angrath can maybe do something. Contempt and reborn. I suppose. Maybe the Shivan Fire. Spell Pierce. Yeah, I guess the Shivan Fire. Spell Pierce and Storm Tamer aren't going to do anything. Uh, Carnival doesn't do anything. Wow. Hmm. I would like to take out the Freebooters. The... Uh... The Freebooters, the Carnival, um, probably the Lookouts Dispersals. We don't have more options, though. Um, yeah, I, d I don't like this card. 
but maybe this is necessary since we're playing pirates. So this card just isn't going to kill anything. I guess I'm playing freebooters. I can play daredevils. Can block better than freebooter can. It's first strike. I don't know if they'll have. I mean, they they'll have like collision colossus, which is a which is a problem for us to kill our flyers. Uh, it's gonna be this is gonna be rough. Hopefully, we just don't draw those cards and draw our other cards that that can help us. You know, like Hostage Shaker, Rekindling Phoenix, and Angrath. Those cards can can win. So hopefully, we draw like lands in those cards. All right, we'll keep it. All right, we need some lands. Come on, deck, get, get us some land drops. Whew. Five mana spell is not a land drop. Um, I kind of want to pay two life here so I can have cast down available. And hopefully go cast down into Thief of Sanity. Alright, Paige says to shock, so yeah, I'll shock. They probably play like the, the two mana Haster dude. Yeah, that that thing. Alright, now we untap and thief. Okay. Things going according to plan so far. That was a good shock. That's fine, I suppose. We need to get another land to go get to Phoenix now. Thoron Gill, reseven for the third month. That's getting some hype in the chat. That is sub number 10 on the day. That means we'll be cracking a pack open for getting to 10 subs today. Thanks, Thoron Gill. Ever seen water burn? You, you want to get a Rivals of Ixalan pack? I, I was looking at. It, I, I think there may be one more rare that I'm missing in Rivals of Ixalan. Yeah, our opponent may be over sideboarded with those Cinder Vines. Freebooter is just going to be really bad, uh, especially like Crowl Harpooner. We can't play Freebooter. All right, so what? Are, what? Are, which one of these other cards are we playing? Um, I guess I, I could play a Theater of Horrors. I suppose. Just run the Cannonade. I guess I could play the Cannonade. Kind of really wish that was Ritual said. Yeah, it's true. Maybe we kill some growth chambers or something. All right, we'll play the cannonade. Another mulligan. Opponents keeping seven again. Come on, deck. We're not good enough to mulligan. Can't afford that. Alright, let's kill that before it can grow. Uh-oh.
<laughs> this is... Is this a May? I don't want to discard a card and draw a card. I honestly don't want to discard a card, draw a card. I love... I love... Mount, like, I, I need this mountain, and then I want Phoenix, Phoenix, Phoenix. I just can't even play this card. Gosh, this card is so bad. Can I... I guess I ditch the mountain and just hope to draw another mountain? Another land? I kind of have to play it, though, because we're going to get ran over. I think this is my least favorite card in the deck. In our whole deck. This is our my least favorite card by a ways. Um, I'd rather have like the 1-2 death touch afterlife creature. Especially if we struggle against like ground creatures. I'd much rather have that. Don't like this card at all. Can we survive if we don't ditch a phoenix? Or like if we don't play this, can we even survive? I, don't, I honestly just don't think we can. I think we just have to get another land. I'm not, not ditching a phoenix. The phoenixes are so important. I think we have to just try to get another land. It's very dangerous, but I think it's honestly the, the best thing to do. Like, just taking that hit... Well, that works out. Clutch Cannonade. Seeing if they played like like their 2-2 haste creature or anything like that. I did not play around Colossus. They could certainly Colossus. Um, I guess... I guess maybe it just wasn't worth it because of Colossus. Didn't play around that. Which did that did they have the mana for Colossus anyway last turn? Hmm. They would have had four mana. They spent two on Lightning Strike. So I guess they had the mana for Colossus last turn anyway. Is it better to get rid of the War Boss? Hey, Skippy. Warboss and Sp Spellbreaker both attack for four, um, but the Warboss keeps making, keeps going wide, and we're we're gonna struggle with going wide. Yeah, that that Colossus got me. Do they have Do they have Colossus in hand? Or sorry, not not do they have Colossus in hand, but do they have? Do they have that open mana? I honestly don't really regret... I don't regret my Reveler play at all. I don't regret ditching the land and not a Phoenix, even though we lost with all the Phoenixes in hand. I I do kind of slightly regret I like this the regret would be not casting the cannonade right away if they didn't have the two mana. Um our opponent had showed they had always like they had never hasted any of their things. So like even if they had like the the haste goblin for example, they they had showed that they were going to be um making their creatures bigger. <laughs> I, I I don't regret at all not not bidding a, a Phoenix because 
with us winning that, like, we're going to need a lot of Phoenixes to stare down their creatures. That's something I still don't regret at all. Um... It's possible we can kill this Steamkin with this Carnival. It's not going to happen, though. At least not yet. But it is possible. Man, big question. Do I wait... No, I, I don't try to wait and try to kill the Steamkin. I just take this out, the Phoenix, and block the Steamkin. Wow. That's a hand. That's pretty good. That is really good. Having frenzy that early and everything. So we're down to two. I mean, I, what's a what's the case that we could win this game? They just don't find a, a burn spell ever. They just have to. They have to hit like eighteen consecutive lands. They did not hit 18 consecutive lands, unfortunately. All right, ne negate duress, uh, daredevil, fire, contempt. Whew. It's another tough matchup for us. Um, you know how these these cards are not not good against red. Freebooter, I guess, can take something and then it gets it eats a burn spell. Storm Tamer's just out because of Chain Whirler, but I guess Storm Tamer can counter a, a burn spell against us, though. We can trade with a one one, like the two one. Hmm. We kind of need Angrath as like the big effect that ends the game quickly. You think Angrath is out? I've liked Angrath quite a bit in like my my Grixis discard of like being able to end the game. Because that's that's like what we struggle with. Even if we stabilize, we have to be able to end the game in a reasonable amount of time. What if we go with this? Um, is Re good? Not really. It's not really. It's okay though. It's a body. Um, this is like kind of the matchup for it. It's it's a body that that can block and and help your help your hand whenever you uh, help you find whatever you need. Like help you find counter magic or 
whatever you need. This is a 20, like this, this deck has 25 lands. We, we have struggled kind of in, in general of finding lands. Last game was not the case. Last game we had lands, but you know, in this very small sample, we haven't drawn lands too well. <laughs> do I go back and watch Frasca Tribal before I spoil myself for score, or do I unpause the stream? Um, that's that's a tough question. Yeah, that's a tough one. That is a tough one. So, gotta hit our land drops. That's all all I want to do. don't really want to shock. If I would have taken the shock now, like, we could have gone Daredevil, shock the Steamkin. We can still Bedevil the Steamkin. I guess I'm Bedeviling the Steamkin. Even though we're shocking, like, the Steamkin's going to do that much damage to us. We're not getting as much value out of these things, though. Not a land. Um, thief just eats the shock. I could hold up negate and spell pierce and hope my opponent negates or spell pierces. Or like they cast something that I get, actually get to negate or spell pierce. I think that's a better option than just tapping tapping out and trading for just a <clears throat> a one mana spell there. All right, coil did its job. Spell pierce did its job. I guess they can't play the shock in their hand anymore. Maybe they won't find a shock off the top. Maybe it's just land land. Come on, be land land. Opponent unlucky? Looks like opponent's unlucky. Hey, what's up, Celtics Banner? Movie was really good. Yeah, I liked it quite a bit. Alright, so we know we're getting one land and then uh, fire up or firebrand and light up. We'll get light up. Um, emptying their hand, of course, isn't as valuable um, with the Frenzy in play. But just having the, the two damage Here be uh, wants no over fire, and over and over again. No, steel. no, we don't have any dispersals. Ah, you'll be nothing but slag when I'm done with you. The fire's out, but the embers burn on. 
That's unfortunate. Uh, that's really unfortunate. Would say that could go worse, but it really couldn't have gone worse. Yeah, that could not have gone worse. I don't think we can beat a Frenzy, which is just unfortunate. I don't have anything to play. I guess I play this thing. I do not believe that playing Angrath that turn was bad in the slightest. I do not regret playing Angrath at all. I think playing Angrath as early as you can and trying to get the loyalty up uh, is the best idea. Our opponent just had, you know, they just had all those burn, the burn spells that uh, let them answer Angrath. Um, but playing the Angrath was not bad. So we need to kill the Steamkin. And uh, Shock does it. At this point, even if they like pop the frenzy, they got five cards in hand. At least that's six damage they didn't have go upstairs. Frenzy's just incredibly good. Having their last two cards we didn't know about in their hand to be fourth land plus frenzy. That turn for them. Just so clutch. Alright, so we got to deal the damage to him, so Reveler can draw. Three. This is when Reveler is at its best. Okay. Those are cards. Those are real cards. They very well could just have enough burn in their hand. They may just have eight burns. Eight points of burn in their hand. If they're popping the frenzy. Yeah, our opponent probably could have killed us already if they would have thrown burn spells at our face. Another frenzy. Um, I don't think I want to. Let's let's hold up our counter spell. I don't think we need to carnage. You know, it's just nothing that's too too necessary to do right away. So Carnival can kill this Pyromancer. That's one I'll counter. That one kills the Daredevil and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, we're trying. We're kind of hanging in there. If, seriously, if our opponent didn't have that Frenzy, you know, we were looking good.
Yeah, we did have the pirate out. Make it only cost two instead of three. had 15 more cards than we have. It's just so hard to beat that. What can we draw? Uh, I guess I just play it. You know, we, we don't have a spectacle. I wish it was just like a, a mode on the card that you could just pay the four. But at least you at least you get to draw a card. Yeah, when you're reveler when you're empty handed is awesome, just because you know it's just two mana two two draw a card. Pop the frenzy, have another land on top. Opponent finally finding all their lands. Looks like they are. At least the opponent hit five lands in a row. So that's that's good for us. Five lands in a row for them. <laughs> Remodi Visionary. They're not hitting the, the lands now. And so there's one land in their graveyard. So that's 12, 13... Plus however many they have in their hand. So they still have a good amount of lands left. Uh, problem is, so do we. We don't get to see a lot of cards, even if we hit some lands. trying here. They have nine cards to our like 37 or something. Uh, so, the last two decks that we played against uh, were two red aggro decks. Uh, we had the green red aggro and then, you know, mono red burn. <clears throat> um, and those are, like we talked about before, those are going to be tough for us. We have just so many cards that are just pretty bad against those two decks. That's These, like, Storm Tamers and Freebooters, um, playing those kind of, like, playing these cards are, are good when your opponent is just trying to use a bunch of removal and like they're real slow because storm tamer and freebooter are really slow and they're they're really slow they don't have much toughness um so they're they're good against those those kind of decks um but against aggro is going to be just really tough um all right so phage is asking how would i modify the deck um It's basically just, you know, like, so, like, this kind of, these kind of decks are, you know, good against, uh, you know, even, like, Wilderness Reclamation decks and things like that. We're good against really spell-heavy decks, but creature beatdown like that is just super tough for us. I'm not sure if there's, like, a, a good way to make, to keep this deck kind of the same and make it good in those matchups. Like, you're just going to have tough matchups, and those are going to be, like, really tough matchups. Ritual of Soot seems like something that, if it's not in the main, it should just be in the sideboard for those kind of things. Like, we should, you should just be, like, Ritual of Soot, not having that card, uh, doesn't quite seem right. Um...
Storm Tamer overall seems like a really low powered card. I would like just playing Nicol Boluses. Like how that's I would like playing Nicol Boluses. I mean, I think you could probably add those on on the four drop slot as well. Just Phoenix, Hostage Taker, and Bolus. Um, Bolus is just an awesome card. It's just similar with Phoenix, like four toughness against like the like those red decks, like a four four body. Whoops, is really nice. Um, another another card to have in the sideboard to help out the aggro matchups. Um, and honestly, maybe this is where you want to go. Like having Doom Whisperer in the sideboard helps out a ton because six sixes are just really hard to deal with. Um, and it's you know it's it ends the game really quickly. Six power. Red burn spells don't don't deal with them too well. As far as like that that previous deck having collision does deal with Doom Whisper. Collision's like that new card that does, but this is another thing. Like this is a Doom Whisper is a great anti aggro card. Um like the red decks are gonna have to fire off two burn spells, but hopefully with like your thought erasures and stuff, like they don't have those. Um but yeah, we are weak to burn and you know, the the fast creature aggro decks. Fiery Cannonade doesn't kill very much stuff. I would certainly want Ritual of Soot. So, like, Ritual of Soot, Doom Whisper, Nicol Bolas. Those are, like, some options, like, for the top end. Um, you know, I don't really love Eldest Reborn. Uh, um, and, yeah, Eldest Reborn, Cannonade. Theater of Horrors is a card that I don't really like in this metagame. Because Theater Horrors is really at its best against Esper. Or, like, basically against Control, which Esper is, like, the one Control deck, and Esper has Mortifies. And you're already going to be kind of decent there anyway um, with what you got. Like, that's that's not a matchup that you necessarily need, like, these two sideboard slots for. Um, so those are some... Those are some options, like for the for the aggro matchups there, Phage. Um, as far as just playing just playing Grixis, I still just really recommend my the Grixis discard. You know, I've played this deck quite a bit. As far as Grixis goes, um, this is still the one that I really like. Really recommend. Um, if you just just want, you know, Grixis, but I I am glad that we played something a little different, you know. Um, Divest is pretty meh. It's like good against Soltai, I guess, but just probably not one of the best seventy-five cards you can put in your deck. I have just the one duress in the main. I have three more in the sideboard. Um, in the main deck, I just want like that one cheap interaction thing uh, against a deck like Sultai. Like they'll hold like their content. You know, like basically against like any removal decks. Like they have to hold their removal. Uh, and I want to be able to play duress and then Bolus or duress and then Angrath at times. Um, but it just kind of like fills the curve in. You know, it just fills like whatever slot you need of just like a a one mana spell somewhere. And uh, that's why I have it. All right, so that was Grixis midrange. A um, little bit different take on on Grixis there. Uh, definitely something there, you know, like Freebooter into Thief of Sanity is really powerful. Hostage Shaker and Kindling Phoenix are really powerful. We have some real good cards there. We just have uh, we have a few under underpowered cards. I'm not, not a big fan of Storm Tamer or Reveler. Um, but then we have just, like, a weakness to aggro. Like, that's the thing about playing Thief of Sanity and Freebooter main deck is that we're going to have a weakness to aggro, and we saw that uh, kind of pop up there. But um, Yeah, Dive Down may end up being maybe better than Storm Tamer because Dive Down you can just kind of use on, on everything, and uh, you don't have to get your Kindling Phoenix coiled. Um Dive Down could certainly be better for the deck. Um, so, 
there we go. If you're watching this video later on on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. But thanks for watching some Grixis Midrange, and I'll see you for the next video.